Yo, what's good, guys? Um, cool. So happy Easter to all you guys out there, and uh, hope everything's well. Hope the families are good. And uh, yeah, I thought I would uh, show you guys another cool trick tip um, that I don't see many people using um, in FL Studio, and this is going to help save on CPU tremendously. And, um, yeah, I've been using this a lot more since I've, you know, found out about it. And, um, yeah, it's it just helped me out a ton. So I hope it helps you out the same way. And I hope you find this, this video useful. And, uh, yeah, so we'll just get right into it. I won't talk because <laughs> I tend to do that sometimes. I'm sorry about that. So, yeah, so, okay, so I have a, uh, a MIDI loop right here, right? And I have an instance of Omnisphere on it. Um, and so let's say I'm just starting a beat. And this is the loop. By the way, this loop is uh, from my new MIDI kit that I'm about to drop called the Fendi Melody MIDI kit. And uh, it'll be out soon. So if you guys want to you know, know when that drops, just hit me up in the email. And I will um, save your email and I'll let you know when it drops. Uh, there's some really, really nice loops in here and good starter, you know, beat starters for you guys. Um, so I'm pretty happy with it. Um, yeah, so let me play the loop real quick so you guys can see it. Perfect example. You see how it's already, you know, right? This It's already crapping out. Now this is it doesn't do this off of off of one instance. Uh, the reason why it's doing this is because the recorder I'm using is called OBS, and for some reason, uh, it just takes up a lot of my CPU to do anything. Um, and let me close um, Chrome too. You should really cl close anything in the background that you're not using. I'll close iTunes as well, and let's see if it plays one more time. Right. Okay. So, like I said before, normally this doesn't happen. <clears throat> um, this will um, this will happen usually when I have like seven instances over. My computer is pretty beefy. I have like sixteen gigabyte DDR4 RAM in my my laptop. Um, uh, SSD drive. You know, five hundred and twelve SSD drive. It's it's a it's a beefy ass laptop. So believe me that it can handle like eight instances of of OmniSphere. Um, and, and Serum too, but every once in a while, depending on all the workload and depending on your master bus, like if I'm running Ozone and all that stuff, it will start to do this eventually after like seven instances of something like that. So the question is, is how can you save um, on CPU and still have the sound? Now, what I see a lot of people doing is they'll have the, the loop like this, they'll go to their master bus or something like that, or an extra channel or something. And then what they'll do is they'll pull up Edison Right. Uh, let's slow it up for a second. So they'll pull up Edison like this, and um, where is it? Right. I have all these things open. Um, I just wish I could see it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so, and then they'll enable the recording, and what they'll do is they'll play record. Uh, I'm sorry. Let's try that one more time. Anyways, you get the idea, right? They'll hit record, and they'll do it, then they'll drag it out, and boom, that's the... Right? But the thing is, is there's a way better version of doing this, because when you do this, you have space at the front, you have space at the tail... And then you have to go into Edison and you have to, you know, edit it or, you know, whatever you chop off the front, chop off the back <clears throat> and it gets really annoying. Right. So it's like there's got to be a quicker way to this, a way to this. Another way you could do it is file export the wave and whatever's in your. So if I um, took this and I said piano, whoops, didn't mean to do that. right and you drop it into your mixer like so so now we have the piano right we have the piano on there 
another way they'll do it is they'll export you know the wave files um as a uh you know they'll split the mixer tracks and they'll do it that way um but still it takes long because then you got to export it somewhere else and you got to bring it back in now in logic pro you see me do a lot of uh tutorials in logic pro logic pro treats each segment like this as a region right so in logic pro you can go to file bounce and you could bounce regions in place which is cool so i'm thinking like man with with is is as techy as as fl studio is how come i can't do that in fl studio well you can do it and i'm about to show you right now so what we want to do is we want to create a loop region right so what i want to do is i want to see how far the delay tails off the end of the the, the region here Hold on, let me just do this. So like at 11 here, okay, right? So I know that's there, so I'll, I'll hold down control, drag, and set the loop region there. So then what I do is we go to the mixer, <clears throat> and now check this out. Right here at the at the bottom here, you see how it, it shows up in this section here? It shows ARM disk recording. That's what we want. So we just click it. Now it's armed. It's in red. So then all we want to do is we go here and we choose disk recording and we go render to wave file. Okay. And we're just going to leave it in 32-bit float. 512 uh, is the highest. So that's fine. We want the highest quality, obviously. And we just hit start. And what it's going to do is it's going to render a wave version from of that loop uh, in the next available space on your playlist. Um, and I'll show you in just a second. So now it's done. And if I just highlight this here, I can get rid of this. And I can actually delete Omnisphere now. And now if I play it... that so pretty damn awesome man and it's right there and you can loop it and it'll be perfect right and if you heard a little click if you heard a little click it's not a problem you can go in there and you can edit the click right out and it'll still be perfect. So yeah, and uh, like I said, you probably wouldn't even notice that if it's because where our loop point is. If we just dragged it like this, you wouldn't even hear that. See how smooth that is? So it's perfect. Now here's another cool thing about doing it this way. Um, let's load up. Um, let's load up. Omnisphere, right? I'm trying to make this quick, guys. I'm sorry about that. So we'll load up Omnisphere again, and this time let's just choose. Let me just choose one that I have marked. Oh, you know what? I gotta change it to Keyscape Creative. I just want to get one with the stars, so we can just. I'm just choosing a random one here. Uh, so now let's uh, import a piano from uh, let's choose one here we'll choose dreams so I put this down to 74 like I said this is all from my MIDI kit I think you guys will be stoked about it uh, let's see what we have here oh you know what we have to put it on the playlist <laughs> Sorry about that. What's this? All right, so let's clone this, right? And let's just copy it, put it paste, and let's just change the sound real quick. Let's just go to something else. 
oh you know what we're gonna do though we'll copy this um, then we'll cut go up one paste it like this so now we could just oops. <laughs> clone it one more time this is all for a reason just bear with me just bear with me let it load it's a lot slower because OBS I don't know why it just takes up a bunch of CPU um, <clears throat> Uno momento come on dude you're almost there Beautiful. All right, so let's just find one more sound. Childhood dreams, okay, whatever that is. Paste it. Add. Okay, so let's just say we have these placed out like how you would in a song, right? Um, like this. Bells three. All right, cool. So now let's add these all to the mixer. Uh, we'll go over the top of this one. We'll just put bells one, right? And what we can do actually, let's move this back to the front to make it easier. We'll hold Control. Remember, we'll just drag to thirteen just to make it easy. Now what's cool is if we arm all three of these tracks. Go to this recording renders wave. It will bounce all three of these as separate files, not as one. Th this is what I love about this. All three files, so it's rendering, as you can see right here, it says rendering three mixer tracks. And it's going to do that as separate ones. Which is cool. So there they are. So if we get rid of these. And if we go to here and we get rid of these as well, we don't have to take up CPU. Boom. And we can play our tracks just fine. Look at the CPU over here. It's at one still. Yeah, anyways, <laughs> anyways, that's it, guys. Just wanted to show you that real quick. Uh, very useful thing uh, inside FL Studio. And that is all, my friends. Again, if you like the video, like, share, subscribe. Also, um, if you want to know when these videos come out, tap the little bell you know, icon next to the subscribe once you have. And you will get notifications every time I drop a new helpful video for you guys. And uh, that's about it. You guys enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Happy Easter again. And I'm out. You guys have a good one. Peace.